Hey there guys, this is NDM here, welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Earthbound. Okay, so in the last episode, uh, we pretty much didn't, well we didn't really do much actually, we went around like the outskirts of town to look around in the library, got ourselves the map and we got ourselves the Mr. Baseball cap which gives us the higher advantage on defense. So in this episode we're just going to be grinding for money pretty much and trying to get some some experience points to get some levels in order to take down the sharks which are guarding the game corner which is where we need to go next uh, as our mission objective but for now we're just going to wander around and do some wild battles get some money so we can get ourselves properly well equipped because we still have to buy the copper bracelet and the next baseball bat which we don't want, we don't really want to be fighting the sharks with a cracked bat let me tell you that much. Yeah, because the shop will provide you with uh, better baseball bats. And you'll be finding that you'll be doing that a lot throughout the majority of the game, is just checking out the shops to see if they've got better items in stock for you to use to your advantage. So we're just going to have to be grinding off wild dogs for now, because they're the only enemy around here that gives enough EXP, or, well, the better EXP. And so do the crows as well, I believe. I think the crows give give three XP, which is just one short off the wild dogs. But you don't really want to be fighting snakes because that's just time consuming, and they only give one XP per one that you kill. And speaking of which, one just came right out the middle of nowhere and decided to fight me, but it was an automatic win. Yeah, I should mention about automatic wins actually. Uh, th they only happen once you have gotten strong enough in order to kill that enemy in one hit. It won't happen all the time, it's not randomly based, it's actually based on your stats. So if you are if you're like over leveled in that area, you will kill that enemy in one hit. Um, so yeah, that's basically the whole um, random winning uh, system basically. <laughs> And it makes grinding a lot easier, so if you're like overleveled in an area that gives really good experience, you can still grind off those enemies to give you good experience in order to get higher levels, and you can pretty much abuse that to your heart's content, really. <laughs> especially in dungeons, because like, there are some dungeons, especially there's one example that I can think of, but I'm not going to mention it because it's spoilery. Even though I've let's played this game before, so... <laughs> You guys could check out my old Let's Play of this if you wanted to, in, in comparison to this one, to understand what I'm trying to say, but... Uh, I don't want to elaborate too much on things that are going to happen in the future, because... If any of you guys haven't watched my old Let's Play, then it's going to be very spoilery for you, so I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm just going to treat this as much of a Let's Play as I possibly can. <laughs> right, well, why are we going into the burger joint? I have no idea. We don't need to buy any burgers, we're saving up money to buy weapons and things. And that's the point, how much money? We have $10 on us. Oh yeah, because that's right, because we died, didn't we? So we lost a lot of money from that. Um, Alright, so we're going to go back up to our house and see if we run into any enemies up here. Because I'm going to get, I'm gonna use the cell phone, talk to my dad and see how much money we've earned so we can put that into the bank. I imagine we've already got some money in the bank anyway, so we'll see what he's got in there for us as well. So as you can see, we're getting stronger now, so the dogs are dying a lot quicker than usual. But we can't grind off these forever because we get into the point now where we need like 60 or even yeah, 51 experience points until we gain our next level. And we don't want to be grinding off dogs for hours and hours and hours getting 4 XP per every dog that we kill. Because that's just going to take up way too much time. So what we're going to do is see how much money we got into the bank. I'm not grinding. I'm not grinding EXP off the dogs, by the way. I'm just grinding money. That's all I'm trying to do. So you don't have to worry about me sitting here throughout the whole video just killing dogs relentlessly. I deposited twenty-four dollars into your bank, taking away what you've now one hundred thirteen dollars in the bank. So that should be enough to buy a baseball bat, but I'm not sure if it'll be enough to buy both the baseball bat and the copper bracelet. Which is not really what I want, but if we get the baseball bat, we should be good to go to kill some of those sharks, which will then give us the big money. Um, so I think the wisest thing to do at this point is to buy the baseball bat, simply, because we can then kill the sharks and get more money that way. We don't want to be grinding off dogs for ages, because I, I don't even know how much money 
the dogs give per every dog that you kill. Probably four dollars, the same amount of EXP that it gives you, but... Eh. It's still not worth it, though. And this would be very good speedrunning tactics as well. If you're trying to speedrun Earthbound, I think like buying the break, buying the baseball bat is definitely the best thing to do because you already have the baseball cap, which uh, attributes to a lot of your defense already. So you don't really need the copper bracelet at this point. Uh, obviously, you will have to get it before you go to the dungeon, but you know at this point in the game, the main essential is the baseball bat. All right, let's talk, pick up the cell phone. And yeah, you do need a dollar to use the payphone, so <laughs> if you don't have a dollar on you, you're kind of screwed. Why am I? Yeah, what's the? Why am I on the payphone? I don't need to be on the payphone. I need to be at the ATM machine to extract money from it, so that I can buy the baseball bat. You can't extract money from a payphone, you stupid kid. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool though if you could, but then that would make ATM machines obs obsolete and. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> Alright, okay, so $116. Alright, okay, I think it's this one you have to speak to. So we'll see what he's got. No, it's the cold remedy. We don't want that. Ew, the cold remedy. Get it out of my face. You disgust me with it. <laughs> Can I help you find something? Uh, yeah, we want the T-ball bat. You can also buy a yo-yo, but that is just... Meh. Don't even go there. The yo-yo is just probably the most useless item besides the slingshot in the whole game because it's very low accuracy. It may have better offense than the baseball bat, but it's definitely not worth buying because of how inaccurate the weapon is. But I think the T-ball bat is more powerful anyway, so he's just better off getting this. Yes, I shall equip it. So that gives us up to 16 offense, which will help us out against the sharks. And now we got $86 back for selling the crack bat. So let's see if we have enough money to buy the cheap bracelet. No, we don't. We need $98. So I reckon if we kill a bunch of sharks, we should definitely have enough money to buy that. So that's exactly what we're going to do now. I just want—I want to try and get one of the sharks in one battle on its own, because you can get more than one shark in one battle, and that's going to prove pretty dangerous. So I just want to get try and lure one of them out of the way here, so I can. No, I don't want two of you guys. Stay away from me. No. Oh, oh I thought that was going to be a, a behind battle, like he was going to get the upper hand, but obviously not. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised at that. And we're quite low on HP, so that's also not good. I should have really bought some healing stuff with me. Well, actually, I do have healing stuff. I have PSI. I could use that. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. No, don't call for help. No, that's unfair. You can't do that. I didn't say. I didn't say for you to call for help. Yeah. The. Oh, what? I didn't know we could call for four in one battle. What the hell's going on here, dude? You called two Yes Man Juniors uh, to come and get me. We've also got the Pogo dude. Yeah, the the um the Yes Man Juniors are probably the most dangerous ones actually. They do the most damage, and they're I think they have a high chance of getting a critical as well, which isn't good. So hopefully they just nah. Uh, Please don't charge at me with your pogo stick. Thank you very much. Alright, now I just gotta make sure that I get the upper hand here in using an item first, which I don't think is gonna happen. It really all depends if the I could defend and see how that goes. Because if I defend it's gonna boost up my defense. Um By the way, that's still not gonna help out, is it? Not really. Uh, I'm just gonna life up, screw it. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> they failed to hit me. Which is good. I'm glad. What are you laughing at? What is there, something stuck on my face? There's no need for you to laugh hysterically. Stop mocking me! I am the most powerful entity in the world. I can defeat your legendary boss, Gygus. 
at level 4. <laughs> yes, I can go to the uh, very end of the game and beat Gygus at level 4. That's how powerful I am. Well, we barely managed to scrape that off the skin of our teeth. We got 53 XP, that gains us up to level 5. See, this is the best way of doing it, because it's just easier this way. And we should have enough money now, definitely, because <laughs> we killed more sharks than I intended, um, to buy the cheap bracelet. So let's buy this. Was it $71? Damn. That's going to bring us up to a lot of money right there. 121 XP to the next level. I want to be at least level 6, maybe 7, to go into the game corner and fight the boss that's in there. So, if I don't get to level 7 in this video, which I probably won't, I will have to do some grinding off screen in order to get to level 7, so then we can progress on further into the next episode, and hopefully get to the next dungeon. So that's basically my main aim for the next video. I won't be recording Pokemon today because I've had a little bit of an incident with that. Um, yeah, I had a problem with the save states, so now I've got to re I've got to recollect all my items again. I've got to get huge apples, max elixirs, reviver seeds, oran berries, blah 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 blah. You don't even want to know about that crap. <laughs> that's that's my problem. No, I don't want to buy that. What the hell? <coughs> Why did I do that? God, I'm such a dummy. No, we want to sell that. Yeah. Well, we should get some money for it anyway. Twenty-four dollars. Well, we definitely lost a lot of money. Well, no, nah, we didn't really lose a lot. We lost about twenty dollars from it, I think. So we we'll just buy the cheap bracelet this time. There we go. Equip it. And that brings us up to 16 defense, which I think is just about the same as what our offense is. So we're pretty much equal on both offense and defense, which is going to help out a lot in fighting these evil sharks. Holy crap, it's land sharks! I never knew this was possible! They always said it on the news, but I never believed it! <laughs> he swung his hula hoop. Oh, well, that sounds very threatening. I am so terrified. Oh, please don't. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Cool. Oh, well, never mind. My attack missed. And I'm dead. Which means I lose money as well, right? I believe so, but we can still gain our money back anyway. We don't really need money at the moment, so it's fine. Well, I made another dumbass mistake. I should have put the money in the freaking ATM machine. That's what I should have done. <laughs> now, we, now we're strapped back down to $17. So we can't really buy much with $17 now, can we? Okay, let's speak to this guy. Do you want to start a fight or what? Well, I was just casually going to ask you if you want to play some hooky or something, but then you had to go ahead and say, yeah, let's fight. Alright, then I'll come and kick your ass. I'll Hadouken Shoryuken and sucker punch you into oblivion. <laughs> Are you? Are you? Hadouken. <laughs> God, I'm going crazy today. I oh, know, I just got that fire in my belly. It's causing me to be hyperactive. God, this orange juice is so tasty. Mm. See, look how quickly we kill these things now. Yeah, that's the point. I might have to make a stop off at the hotel. I don't know how much money it is a per night, though, to actually stay in there. Because I need to get my PP back. Oh, there's a can of fruit juice. I think can of fruit juice doesn't even give that much HP back anyway, so it's just like really pointless in having one. It's basically the same amount of HP as what a cookie would give you. 6 HP. A 
And you get cookies everywhere in this game, I'm not even kidding you. You get them from enemies, you get them from presents, all sorts, like chests and things. Get them all over. Right. I uh, guess I'm going to have to speak to my dad on the payphone and see how much money he's got in there for us so we can stay a night in the hotel and get some PP back, which is exactly what I need right now. So, let's speak to Dad. Hmm, $53. That's going to definitely give us enough uh, money to stay the night. Because I always like to have PP as a backup, just in case, because... Like, I'm not going to have hamburgers, you know, infinite amounts of hamburgers that's going to compensate for the loss of PP that I have, you know. It's not going to help. So, we're going to have to use PP. Right, I'm going to, I think it's $39 per night, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out 40 That should give us enough, definitely. Well, it's 35, it's even less than what I expected. <laughs> but when you get more people come, like, because later on in the game you have more people join your quest, uh, the nights in the hotels cost a lot more because you have to pay for each person. So, yeah, the Onet Hotel will eventually cost more than what it does now because you'll have more people on your team later on in the game, but you don't really come back to Onet once you've actually done everything here for the first time. That Like, you do have to come back here later on in the game, but that's not till way late. You have to come back here to do stuff, but... Okay, where are the sharks? They've all just, like, disappeared. Oh, here's one. Just out on his lonesome. And it's a skateboard punk. Well, I think I'll get to level 6 in this episode, and then I can just get to level 7 off-screen, and then we'll be ready to take on the game corner. And eradicate those nasty-ass uh, sharks. Yeah, the sharks. <laughs> there are uh, sharks that you can battle inside the game corner, but I don't want to go in there. It's just no point. I don't like to be too over level, but I like to be leveled just enough to get through the area that. Because you, you can basically sit here and grind until you're like level 10. Like, they give enough EXP for you to get to level 10, I think. So you can just sit here and grind off these. But I don't really see the point, considering that the EXP in the next dungeon is way, way much more of an improvement than what you're getting at the moment. And I have to say that I have to say this about Earthbound: the grind. They do make the grinding in this game a lot of fun, uh, especially when you start getting a lot, a lot of EXP. Like you get into the five digits, get into like the five digits. It gets really crazy. I can't even find a single shark. They've all just disappeared. It's like they don't even exist anymore. All right, on it. Like it's all it's all peaceful now. <laughs> the sharks have gone back to their home planet. You don't have to worry about them causing a ruckus anymore. All right, we got two of them in one battle this time, so we should get a lot of the XP from those. And the skate punks are the only ones that call for help, I believe. Maybe the pogo punks call for help as well, but I'm not sure if they do. Like, I don't remember them being able to call for help. I mean, if they did, it would be a be news to me. <laughs> Gain 25 experience. So we'll just walk around the block again and hopefully that the enemies will regenerate. 
which they should right yeah there we go oh we got a lot of them this time a whole bunch of them and we got a pogo punk and a skate punk well I'm gonna get rid of the, get rid of the skate punk first because I know that the, I know that skate punks can call for help so it's better just to get rid of these first that's the point I'm not even paying any attention to my HP <laughs> I'm just focusing all about the offense here, getting as much damage in as I possibly can. Alright, we're gonna heal. There we go. And uh, we might actually gain our level. Oh, maybe not, okay. How much XP do we need, exactly? Oh, three. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay, we'll just battle a few more of the. Well, well, this will be our last battle of the video, I guess. Get rid of this guy, and we'll be all right. Hopefully. Ah, it keeps missing. Damn it. There we go. Shock's level increased now by level 6. Offense went up by 1. Speed, wo speed went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 1. Maximum PP went up by 2. Well, that was a pretty crap level. What? <laughs> Hardly got anything from that. Oh, okay. Uh, there's more sharks behind here. I didn't know that. I was actually going to end off the video right there, but outside the game corner, but then the truck was like hiding the shark so I didn't see them. And I ended up accidentally running into a random battle. So, this will be the last battle of the episode then. <laughs> I guess, as I was rudely interrupted. There's a hamburger. Yeah, we're getting as many of those hamburgers as we possibly can because that's also going to help out. The more he the more healing items you get, the better. <clears throat> Especially hamburgers because they're better than cookies. They give more he HP back. Alright guys, I'm going to end off the episode here and continue on the next episode. So in the next episode of Let's Play Earthbound, I will be level 7 and we shall be ready to take on the game corner. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, buddy. See you in the next video and goodbye.